What is going on, Jerome's? Happy Monday. We're up, out, and back after it. And yeah, so the next couple weeks of videos uh, may be a little bit scatterbrained. Uh, couldn't be uh, operating on very little sleep, but we're in the thick, T H I C C thick uh, of the NFL offseason now that the Super Bowl is in the rear view. So, sort of is what it is. Also, th th this helps. I don't know. Th this helps as like an escape. It's all good, man. So firing up another seven round mock draft and we're going to incorporate some of these trades. Now we're not going to do exactly what the, the computer will, will say that we can get. So trading for Dalvin, I know that the computer will say that, Ooh, you can get a second round pick and it can happen. Uh, and Adam Thielen looking to deal him, maybe look to deal the Neil. I, I don't know, but we're going to go through here. So trading Dalvin cook. So, actually, let's get the other team up first. So, the Dolphins make the most sense. Uh, if you are going to pull off a trade again, I think it, it, it's more likely that they would just wait and see uh, if the Vikings, uh, if and when the Vikings are going to cut Dalvin, which makes way more sense. But said they want to get his services, and they're okay with his really dumb contract at, at, at this stage. So, I... I uh, again, I know that the computer is going to say that you know you could get a third round pick for Dalvin. I'm not buying that uh, necessarily. Uh, Dolphins don't really have much, uh, yeah. But taking their two uh, late two selections, yeah, I think that's going to uh, be probably about all you can get. So we're getting a sixth and a seventh for Dalvin. There you go. Uh, trade is accepted. And then with Adam Thielen. Again, with, with his, you know, with him making eight plus figures per season, uh, sort of operating as a wide receiver three, maybe as a wide receiver four. I don't know, man. I don't know. Also, they got Watt, Watt Fillier and Myron Mitchell still on here, so that's updated. Uh, let's see what else here. All right, so Patriots. Uh, let, let, let's how how high will the computer say we can get? So the computer saying a fourth round pick for Thielen. I'm not really seeing that, but I don't know. Do we just take that? I mean, obviously, if it's offered, we'll, we'll take it. But I, I, I don't see a fourth rounder going out for Thielen, but, you know, sure. All right, so Patriots going to Thielen. Or, or Thielen going to the Patriots again, uh, rather. So the Vikings now uh, are sitting pretty good. So they got the first round pick. They got the third. They got the two fourths, uh, a couple fifths, a sixth, and a seventh. Uh, so we're good to go in that regard. Ah. I mean, do we force a trade with Daniil? Do we do we, do we get all spicy as, as Moy Caliente here? Uh, all right. So uh, yeah, why, why the hell not? I mean, we're exploring the space. So Daniil Hunter, uh, Seattle is definitely in need for some edge rushing help. So now I'm not expecting five. Could you see twenty? Uh, now this, this, they said that this trade will not be accepted. Uh, they're saying that a high second round pick. They're saying that a low second round pick. Which so. All right, so they're saying a third round pick. So I, I'm not buying this at all. Uh, I think given Daniil's age as well as his current contract, even though you're going to have to pay him, uh, I think that Daniil certainly would at least be in the Bradley Chubb uh, 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 region in terms of compensation. So we're actually going to force this trade through. There we go. So uh, Daniil to the Seahawks for number 20 overall. Ah, taking it, taking it, taking it. All right, so, uh, so now the Vikings have two first round picks. I mean, would you move up? It would be super tempting. It would be super tempting. But let's, let's start the draft and see what happens in the first handful of picks. All right. So Jalen Carter won. Uh, Bryce Young. Will Will Anderson. Daniil. That's a nice duo. Uh, Levis going to the Colts. Miles Murphy. Ooh. Miles Murphy, the first edge off the board. That's interesting. Uh, Bruzzy uh, going to the Lions. Uh, CJ Stroud going to uh, the Raiders. Um, let's see what happens uh, through the top ten. All right, so Brian Branch going to Carolina. Uh, let's see who's on the board. Oh, we, we can't actually see who's on the board. That's dumb. All right. Um, yeah, whatever. We're just going to stick and pick. All right, so recapping. Uh, so Paris Johnson going to the Eagles. Uh, Witherspoon going to the Tennessee Titans. Koronsky going to Texans, probably going to replace Tunsil. Anthony Richardson falls to the Jets. Wow. 
I love. I I actually really love that man. Uh, Smith and Jigba going to the Packers. That's actually a good pick. Michael Meyer uh, going to the Patriots. Oh, hit him and Thielen just paired up. Uh, Quentin Johnston falls to the Lions. That kind of sucks. Um, the Bucks go with Van Ness. Gonzalez going to uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So. A lot of options here. So the Vikings have two first-round picks. Uh, they do need to look to replace some edge stank. W- uh, all right, so what's interesting uh, is so Bashan Robinson is just there chilling. Where, I, I again, I understand Ujulari, Andre Carter. Will McDonald is a stud. Absolute stud, man. Uh, all right, so <clears throat> I, I understand the premise, and w- we've used this as well of, hey, don't draft a running back. You don't need to draft a running back. You don't need to do this, that, or, or the other thing. Um, but Bijan Robinson is just different, man. He would be an absolute dynamic playmaker. I think he's underrated as a receiver. Uh, I think that he'd come in and just immediately is a top 10 run back in this league. And he's younger. He's going to be on his rookie deal. Uh, so this is not like overpaying Dalvin. So... I mean, it's super tempting, and especially since you do have that extra first-round pick, and you're also solidified with, with a handful of mid-round picks uh, through these various trades. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. But does he make it to 23? Mm. All right, well, let, let's look who's on the board. So if the Bengals want to come up, they're not taking a running back. Uh, the Chargers are probably good with Eckler. Uh, the Ravens, actually, the Ravens probably would take him. So maybe, if we're going to take Bajan, we probably should take him now. F it. We're going to do it. F it. We're going to do it. Let's get nuts. Let's get nuts, man. So now on the board, you do have Nolan Smith, who uh, super talented but was injured this season. Ujulari, I believe, is still on board. Um, Trenton Simpson is an absolute stud. I mean, we could look. We could wait in terms of going with edge rusher. I mean, Cam Smith and Joey Porter Jr. are super close for me. Uh, Osiris Torrance is an absolute monster. Trent Simpson uh, would be a, a fantastic pairing with uh, Asamoah. I mean, so th- there's a lot of ways uh, that you could go in this spot. Uh, so the Giants interested in moving up. It's going to cost you. I'm going to gouge your eyes out. See, 55% chance that they include a third. Why not? Why not? Oh, let's go. All right, so Cam Smith is on the board. Zay Flowers is on the board. Joe Porter Jr. is still on board, taking him. All right, so now we got an extra third-round pick uh, thanks to the Giants. Actually, let's slide this into frame. All right, so two third-round picks, two fourth-rounders, uh, a fifth, a couple fifths, a couple sixths, a couple whatever. All right. Uh, oh, so this is actually the a fantastic situation. So the Vikings basically have back-to-back picks. Um, and Isaiah Foskey, who is a very toolsy edge rusher uh, coming out of Notre Dame. I think that once they get to the combine, I think that he has a chance to really stand up and move his draft stock up. So I actually don't think that he'll be available A7. But, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, this one's easy. All right, so Foskey coming in. And now you're sitting there chilling. There's a lot of ways that you could go here. So Noah Sewell is, is obviously the one that I'm looking at. Byron Young, if you want to double down on edge. Uh, Steve uh, Avila is super interesting to me. Um, I mean, we, we could double down on. Could we? Uh, I want to take a look at safety, though. Been there, Howden. Weather Dean. Yeah. All right, so we are going to go no Sewell. All right, so we got the edge. We got the linebacker in the third round. Uh, coming up on the fourth round now, Ronnie Hickman is there chilling. <laughs> Rashawn Johnson. <laughs> Ooh, Cam Jones. Who? Cam Jones. Joe Tipman is there uh, along the offensive line. Yeah, that one makes a lot of sense. Um, ideally, I want Tipman and, and – hmm. All right, so I, I'm going to make a move. So I want Tipman and I want Zach Pickens because uh, I, I do want size uh, on both sides. Mm, also, Trey Palmer's there. Eh, we can get speed a little bit later on. Uh, but having both of these guys in terms of adding size to the defensive line lo- or uh, in the trenches, uh, that does make sense. So I'm, I'm going to make a trade. Uh, let's see, Broncos are at 108. You're going to be interested in uh, 119, brah, brah. 
All right, so obviously that works. 63% chance that gets accepted. I don't want to lose all the picks, though. All right, there you go. That looks like that's going to work. Offer it again. There you go. Uh, all right, so let's get back on this thing. Get up off of that thing. Uh, all right, so we got Tipman, and then we are coming back again for Zach Pickens. Uh, so we're solidifying both of those trenches. We still got four selections left. We got 177, 195, 198, and 240. I know I'm going to get so much flack for picking uh, Bajan, but also I don't care. I don't care. Ooh, DJ Turner's there chilling. He's a guy I like a lot. Ali Gay is interesting. Darius Rush in terms of going with the toolsy guy. Um, hmm. All right, I want to check out the wide receivers. Yeah, I'm perfectly okay. I mean, Trey Tucker's interesting. Jaden Reed's my guy. Michael Wilson, of course. Uh, so I'm okay waiting until... Oh, what's their ADP? Oh, yeah. I'm so, so I'm fine waiting till, uh the ass end uh, of the draft to go grab someone there. Uh, but yeah, DJ Turner here. Yeah, so now we're we're doubling down on corner. I think DJ Turner's a really good player. I, I think he just he gets over uh, overlooked. I mean, though he's Michigan man. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I mean, Mo Ibrahim's sitting there chilling, although we're, we're sort of good there. Uh, Bryce Martin. I mean, Curtis McClendon is a, a guy who I think projects well kicking inside. Uh, from tackle, I think that he could be, you know, he, he's certainly not on the level of strange, uh, obviously, but uh, I think that he's a guy that has some utility uh, in the National Football League uh, coming up. So grabbing him. So now we double down on, uh, even though he's listed as a tackle, I see him as an interior uh, offensive lineman. Uh, now do we just go get our guys? I mean, we could. Badgins there chilling. Yeah. Max Dugan, maybe not so much. Uh, or, or do we just take two shots at the wide receivers? I mean, we certainly could. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take Jaden Reed because uh, I would be more upset if I didn't get him versus not getting Wilson. And if Wilson uh, is there, uh, I'm going to take him uh, with pick number 240. Although Tavian Thomas is interesting. Although, ah, we, we already got ourselves a, a running back, man. We got ourselves the running back in this draft. Uh, yeah, Michael Wilson. Or do I want Tucker's speed? And nah, I'm going Wilson. No, nah, stick with the plan. Go for it, man. Go for it. I, I, I like the way. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. I, I'm really happy with how this draft turned out, man. So, again, on, on the recap. Zoom in and enhance. So the trades that we uh, that we pulled off. Uh, so we forced a trade of Daniil to the Seahawks for number 20 overall. Would they be interested? Who knows? Uh, but like I said, I, I think that the trade haul uh, for Daniil would be probably in the neighborhood of Bradley Chubb, you know, getting a first-round pick and change. Also, we traded... Uh, we traded Thielen to the Patriots for a fourth rounder. Uh, we traded Dalvin to the Dolphins for a, a sixth and seventh rounder. Again, that's I, I think that's all that uh, you could potentially glean in, in a trade for Dalvin. Uh, so Dalvin, Thielen, and Daniil are all gone. Vikings probably uh, are looking to cut Thielen and Dalvin uh, potentially. So getting something for them uh, is a huge win. And moving on from Daniil. Obviously sucks, but you know, if Florida's in the building, probably sticking with more of the three, four, and you know, if you're Daniil and his agent, you'd want out of town too. But with Dalvin gone, uh, so this was just more a, a, a selection of opportunity and BPA. I mean, Bajan Robinson is probably a top five player in this draft, but the fact that the running back position is undervalued, yeah, but. Coming on in and putting Bajan Robinson in the backfield when you got Jefferson and TJ, oh, baby, that's sexy. Joey Porter Jr. is going to come in and be a, st a stud starter from day one. Love his length. Love his press man skills. He's going to do great uh, in the uh, Brian Flores defense. Isaiah Foskey, toolsy edge rusher from Notre Dame, coming up in the third round. Uh, so 
by getting rid of Daniil, you're probably going to be hanging on to Zadarius, and Foskey can work in with Wanham, Patrick Jones second, uh, Luigi Villain, uh, et cetera, getting his feet wet. Uh, Noah Sewell is going to be replacing uh, Eric Kendricks, so we got Sewell as well as Brian Asamoa as your two off-ball linebackers. I like that a lot. Joe Tippman, uh, I think, is a super underrated center coming in from Wisconsin. He's got size. He's got stoutness, and I think that he could and should be in the running to replace Garrett Bradbury if and when they move on from him in free agency. Zach Pickens. Adds a lot of nice, nice to the defensive line right away. Uh, quarterback DJ Turner, I think, is one of the more underrated corners in this draft. So getting him uh, in the fifth round, I think that's a huge get for the Vikings. So now you got DJ Turner and Joey Porter Jr. coming in, as well as you have uh, Caleb Evans, you have Booth, you have Dantzler, uh, you have hopefully Duke Shelley, maybe Patrick Peterson is back. So overall, that's pretty good cornerback depth. You got McLennan Curtis who, again, play tackle Chattanooga, uh, did well at some of the you know, uh, all-star game stuff. I think that he does project uh, to kick inside to guard, uh, so we're doubling down on the trenches there. And then two receivers on the back end, Jaden Reed, uh, who had himself a great week at the Senior Bowl. Same thing with Michael Wilson. Uh, so Jaden Reed reunited with, Jay, uh, with a, a Jalen Speedy Naylor, uh, pride of Michigan State. Ooh, Ooh, Kirk Cousins throwing to a couple of Spartans. Love it. And then Michael Wilson, I think, is a fantastic developmental wide receiver. Getting him at 240 overall uh, is pretty damn huge. So overall, they gave us a B, but I'm I'm pretty damn happy with this one. Even though, yeah, it, a wrench got thrown in with, with Bajan there at 20. Again, I, I'm not really a, a big spending a first-round pick on a running back, but Bajan is different. Like he, he truly is a, a different type of player, and he truly is a, a difference maker at the running back position. So the fact that the Vikings ended up with two first-round picks, I, I'm okay uh, burning one on a running back. But uh, that's it. Your thoughts on our thoughts. Uh, let us know in, in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.